Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amol Sakthivel, and in this video, we are going to see about another ex exceptional library called as No Exception. In test automation, I have seen so many people uh, writing clumsy code just because they don't know how to handle exceptions properly. Again, writing a clean exception can be of different types, right? So you can handle it different way. You can wrap exception. You can you can ignore exception. You can catch and rethrow as a, you know runtime exception. You can use pluggable exception handlers. You 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 can you know basically have your own exception handler that catches each each and every exception and stores it in a list of exception. Right? There are multiple ways to handle them. But in in automation, right? We are not following all that properly. If you haven't checked out my exception playlist. Please do watch that where I have covered a lot of interesting topic, how we can handle exception in a better way. Even after doing that, we still lack a lot of exception handlers in, you know, in test automation space. Let's say we are leading a lot of uh, Excel files or JSON files and all that. Uh, we use input stream and all that, right? Maybe we could have leveraged uh, a template method, you know, and then an exception handler to handle it properly so that we can avoid a lot of duplicate code but whatever i am telling now maybe you know little confusing for you but this piece of information here is very very simple logic that we can normally write in our day-to-day -day life right so i have a logger which can be from your you know apache uh, log4j or your sl4j any kind of logger it can be and i have a string uh, variable that's result i'm trying to you know find a substring of a, a string which is basically having four 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 uh, length as four but I'm trying to find a substring from five. Normally this throws some exception, right? And what I want to do is I basically want to uh, log that exception uh, and then I want to get a default value from, from database. Let's say this reading from a database is an, is, an, uh, is an expensive piece of work, right? It involves a lot of calls that, uh, that goes to the database and come back, right? This is a very expensive piece of logic that we are doing here. But with the exception library, with the no exception library, it comes with a lot of exception handlers to handle both of your checked and unchecked exceptions. One such way to, to move this clumsy code into more readable code like this. The, I, I have exceptions class that's coming from no exception library. What I want to do is, whatever the exception that comes, I want to log it. But what I want to do, I want to try to get uh, this particular substring from the test string uh, as a supplier, right? So supplier is basically having your lazy evaluation. And if this is throwing some sort of exception, I want to log it, but I also want to move ahead and try to get the default value that is from the uh, database, right? And again, I use a supplier interface here, which basically supplier interface implementation here, which evaluates lazily, which means this particular piece of evaluation happen only uh, when uh, this particular, uh, you know, statement throws some exceptions, right? But look at the code here, right? They both do the same operation, but the code here is, is more readable than the code here. And also uh, this is lazily evaluated, which means you you try to, uh, you know, uh, you, 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 can, you won't do that expensive piece of operation, which in, you know, which in this case, which you do, right? Good. Now let's get to IntelliJ and try to understand this with a very simple examples instead of complicated examples. I have moved to a light theme because most people commented that they, you know, find it a little hard to see my dark theme. Now let's take a very simple example. Uh, we normally use that, uh, you know, we try to read a lot of files in test automation, maybe your Excel files and all that. Uh, I'm trying to read a file, uh, let's say like this, right? So. Basically, I want to have something like this, but if you notice, this is a checked exception that's happening and uh, I want to avoid this, right? What are the different ways? Either I can throw this exception to the method signature. This is a checked exception. I can throw this exception to the method signature or I can use a try catch block or there is something called a sneaky throws from the Lombok library, which also you can do, which uh, uh, sneak it past the compiler, let's say, uh, I just say at the rate sneaky throws, right? And this is coming from your Lombok library, right? So it, what it does is if, if the file is not there now, if I run the program, it will still throw the error, but it just cheats the compiler that we have handled it, but we are not actually handling. 
we are just uh, you know uh, cheating the compiler that's what we are doing here it still throw the exception the same thing can be achieved but sneaky throws is just for your uh, you know compile time errors it cannot do lot of things but this no exception library can do multiple things for example the same piece of code that we what we have written here uh, if i if i use a try catch block let's say i use a try catch block it becomes okay let's say i try to read from an excel sheet so i need to use excel as a workbook and workbook equal to, right let me create an object for this and pass the input stream here right again now this again throws uh, let's say uh, you know iwa exception which i can either replace this or i can add multiple clutch basks so this is how you know our code gets clumsy because of this try catch blocks right so let let us try to optimize the same piece of code with with no exception library right so what we want to do is there is a class called exceptions that's coming from here right let me also show you guys how this looks like so this is the dependency that i have downloaded uh, misinzu dot no exception and the version is 1.7.1 right so let me also uh, go to that place and try to use the class that's coming from no exception and what i want to do so there are three check the exception handlers one is wrap one is sneak one is uh, again another one is wrap that accepts a function implementation right so what we want to do now is we just want to sneak it past the compiler we want to cheat it right so sneak it and i want to get an uh, you know file input stream out right so i can use a get here which basically uh, accepts and supplier arguments so what i can do i can basically tell a new file input stream a uh, new file right and then i can pass the file here and this basically going to give me input stream right and in case it throws an error you can also you know use or else get and something like that to you know if you want to optimize this right so basically we are getting the input stream this time we are just sneaking it past the compiler okay even if i run it it throw exception here let's say i don't want to if the file is not found there is no reason why i have to run this program i want to uh, throw a runtime exception so instead of uh, you know sticking it past the compiler i want to throw a runtime exception and terminate the program in those cases you can just write exceptions uh, dot uh, wrap right so i want to throw a runtime exception and uh, i can pass the exception here what sort of exception i want to pass i want to pass a runtime exception and then i'm trying to get the new file input stream right and then new file whatever okay now this time it won't throw the file not found instead it will throw a runtime exception so this is how we can wrap exception the same code would have been something like this uh, try uh, to read from file input stream whatever a new file and then i would have written something like this right so uh, so let's say let's keep it as exception for now and i would have throw new runtime exception i would have written a code something like this which is very verbose and nicey instead i could leverage something like this and also most importantly this is this is just a get method you can also have a lot of other options that you want to do let's say uh, there is a consumer that takes in something and doesn't return anything so basically you can if you have a, some methods or in implementation something like a consumer interface then you can also use it here this is just just a simple examples uh, to understand this right uh, apart from these two things if there is something called a silence which basically ignores the exceptions and uh, it doesn't do anything right and there is also something called as log which basically helps you to log something again this is a, this is an overloaded method which basically accepts uh, a logger implementation you can have it as a slf4j or a log4j whatever the logger you you are using in your framework you can use it again it also accept custom arguments like your strings and supplier uh, error messages right so this is how cool it is right if once you start using this in your day to day code you will see a lot of differences okay so now let's go to a simple example from selenium so that we can understand this better let's say i'm trying to open this particular website and trying to find an element with this particular x path right so we would have written some code like this let's say i want to click on this element otherwise i want to click on this element this is a normal code that we would write right and the same piece of code again this is very noisy and 
one problem is we are trying to control or doing uh, automation flow in the exception, which is basically wrong, right? Here also we are doing something similar, but this is uh, much readable than this, right? Because this is getting lazily evaluated, right? And uh, yeah, this is some of the simple examples that I could think, but the examples are, you know, uh, something using this library in your day-to-day -day life is, is up to you. You have to go and explore what you want to do, right? This is a very simple example that tries to find this particular element. If present, it will click on it. If this element is not there, it will lazily evaluate this particular element and try to click on it. So yeah, this the silence method will basically ignore the exception. This is like having a try-catch block and not doing anything with the uh, caught exception. So this is very, very cool. Silence and wrap, and then we also have log, right? Very few methods that can give you a lot of freedom to handle checked and unchecked exceptions. I hope uh, you will start using this library and uh, uh, leave your comment in the next, uh, you know, in the YouTube video. If you if you want me to create more videos on uh, any particular topic, I'll do that. I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, tada! Bye bye from Mumbai. See you guys.